Hi, it's Brenda Warming Center program here. I know you've prob probably already voted and the no way versus green way decision has probably been made up in your mind. Really nobody's changing anybody's mind here. You know, I took a, an unpopular uh, point of view. I was kind of a, a fence sitter um, weighing both arguments and it really started feeling not unlike housing first or as I am forced to call it, housing last uh, in the homeless um, paradigm. And here, here's why, uh, you know, in housing first, they say uh, we want to put people in the housing immediately. That's how you end homelessness, not shelters, not any other services. But the problem there is they haven't uh, built nearly, really hardly any houses. Uh, in fact, the grand jury report says um, more than two thirds of the people who were housed are back onto the street. So we have this large bench lands camp with almost 400 people and tons of people out with virtually no services, no focus on services other than things like footbridge services and warming center program and things like that. So the, the, the promise of housing first is meant housing last uh, rather than making sure that we could have sanctuary camps, dignifying spaces like agreement camps. Instead, everyone's forced into a human dumping ground, which is the lowest common uh, uh, denominator of all, with the hope of impossible to achieve housing out there in the future. So housing first is housing last, and we've had nothing. So when you think of train first, it's actually train last because tr the train won't be funded and coming. We have to con completely redesign, fund, and build the Capitola trestle and a few other bridges and more than two dozen retaining walls, remove all the trees and totally redesign the entire train uh, 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 corridor to fit a path. And the train's not even going to be coming. These rails are already secondhand. Some of them are, are well older than 100 years old. Um, the specter that uh, 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 Roaring Camp is going to be pulling out, not going to be, it's not true. They really just want their, their refresh trains to be able to come in from south of Watsonville. So they need the rail. That's the only reason that they're supporting it because it's in their, their benefit. I'm getting muddled here. But train first is not unlike housing first. It's a panacea. Um, we need options now. We need a really good, vibrant, uh, exceedingly uh, uh, next level uh, corridor for bike path for people to. And we always throw in, oh, brown people, poor people from Watsonville. You know, that's really good. Uh, sounds great. But it's it, it doesn't really wash because uh, there's no funding for that. That's like really far. I mean, uh, so. We really need things now and, and, and to also label these people who are uh, tech billionaires and we don't trust them, you know, to keep doubling down on a, a rail infrastructure that the, that the uh, petroleum industry keeps doubling down on itself, the, the, the transportation network of the country. We need new thinking. You know, some of these people are uh, disruptors and they do want to transform uh, transportation as we know it. And that's what we should be focusing on. Not, I mean, Ron Deridon, he's a, a, a rail dinosaur. The Deridon station in San Jose is named after him. He's so old. This is not new thinking. This is antiquated thinking, not rail 